The new minister of sport, oh, Mr. Gaten McKenzie, has shocked a lot of people. Uh, as we all know, he said quite a number of things, guys, that now I mean, sitting here, I'm shocked. Hey, but somebody says it will end in tears. Hmm. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, yeah, but Gaten McKenzie, Vele, when you, when you were doing what you were doing, oh, I'm going in, Vele. Hey. Because, I mean, um, we must not judge things based on sometimes uh, justification of why we are doing that. But we must also look at things from a contribution point of view. So if you are going to scratch this support of the super fans, the question is, what has been their contribution to sports in general? That, that's the main question. What has been their contribution? If you can justify their contribution, then... Their funding is justifiable in the process. But instead of Gaten McKenzie looking at things from that perspective, I mean, honestly speaking, I'm not a super fan. I'm not a person that is always at the, at the stadium. But to be quite honest, there's always um, look, there's always something about this, this super fans and these people who are always at the stadium. There's something encouraging about seeing them there. But then there comes Gaten McKenzie, shocking a lot of people, saying, I am a minister of sport. I'm going to remove all of those things, those privileges. I'm going to remove all of them. There are a lot of things, guys, people getting privileges just by winning cups, uh, by a local, representing a province. Uh, are you going to say to me you're going to scratch all of those things because, you know what I'm saying, your favorite sport being spinning cars it doesn't get all those privileges? No. Uh, come on, guys. Come on. I don't think Gaten McKenzie now is thinking correct. La, no, no, no. I think the energy is bringing in now. Mm -mm. It's starting to be starting to be suspicious, you know. He's starting to sound like he's anti-football. Yet he's um, he's starting to be anti-football. You forget that football in this country is the thing, right? It's a fact. Everybody loves football in this country, and so the incentive must also speak to look at the, the proportionality of people appreciating sport in South Africa, it must also be represented by how you, the, 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 like, I mean, your approach must also speak to the proportionality thereon. So in that being said, you can't, like, get in McKenzie because now you want to push spinning. Guys, not everybody spin their cars. Yes, we all get excited when people are spinning cars. But if, to be quite honest, uh, you, you can't spin cars, uh, cars in, at the stadium. Um, uh, even if it was just allowed, but in G, to be quite honest, people wouldn't appreciate you spinning cars at the stadium. Uh, not a lot of people really go out to watch spinning event, right? Uh, I used to stay not far from a spinning event. I will visit there and there. It's not something that I will do, but with soccer, I will, I'm most likely to even watch an, an amateur playing out there. Just, just, just speak of people's receptions of certain things now you're saying hi because this one has got a lot of privilege i am going to downgrade their privileges it really doesn't make sense but this my friend it makes sense if you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for come on good people because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge to click the notification bell it is free of charge to share this video it is free of charge to watch this video until the end it is free of charge also good people i mean come on to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed this is what okaitin mckenzie has got to say let me read it something to, to you sport minister gaitin mckenzie shut down super fan uh, free trips 
SA local new SA sport minister Gaten McKenzie on Tuesday unceremoniously called time on the careers of superfans in South Africa. The two um, the two faces of superfans as they are known, Mamlok Mama Joy, uh, Chauk and Bota Msila attended the 2023 Rugby World Cup in France, which cost SA taxpayers um, a re local region of 1.3 million. Let me ask you a question. Uh, if you are telling me that you're going to save this 1.3 million, are you most likely to look to, 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 to get it back? You see, sometimes we, when we like, when we want to say things, we use the word taxpayers money. Uh, guys, I'm telling you this right now, there's going to be load reduction. Where is your tax money? Is it helping in terms of solving the road reduction? No, right now, there are people facing uh, a, a situations of water shading. Where is that tax money? When people want to fight their political local political motivations, they use the phrase, ah, it's taxpayers, man. Hey, 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 I need to get in. Because that money, you're not going to see it anyway. What is 1.3 million? Tell me something. What is 1.3 million in a government that has got a budget of, of, of trillions and trillions? And you don't even experience, you don't even get half of that to you, you, you and I'm th let's talk about a lay person. I'm not talking about people who are working in, in, local, in a corporate space. I'm thinking from a layman's perspective. You don't even get to see it being distributed to those people, but when people are want to promote their selfish ambitions, they say, taxpayers money. Are you going to get it? No. How many trillions does the government has? Trillions and trillions, but you're not going to get it. You are complaining, no, I, we must stop the 1.3 million. That mama choice gay. Hey, 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 hey guys, that man got money. Hi, 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 hi. Guys, why look man by easily manipulated by these people? Uh, the outspoken leader of the Patriotic Alliance, Gaten McKenzie, has already caused a, a stare since he took the office with his new vision for sport in the country. Most uh, not not notably saying he wants to make spinning the biggest sport in the nation. Uh, Gaten McKenzie made an announcement on X, uh, formerly known as Twitter, uh, on, on Tuesday. I have stopped all trips for superfans. We have uh, athletes and uh, artists who are struggling to raise money to attend sporting events and exhibitions, how do we justify paying, uh, paying for fans? We shall no longer be paying for these trips and we'll use that money where it is needed the most. I'm going to ask you a very simple question. You see this? It sounds nice. It's, 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 on, it's on Twitter. It's a statement. It sounds like, you know what? We are working very hard. We are to... I'm, I'm going to ask you a very simple question. If they are saying they are going to use the money where it is needed, way. Number two, you must check certain things. Uh, sometimes this is what politicians do. They say, uh, we are supporting women. You know what I'm saying? Women in business. But you must go and check the women that they are supporting. It's their friends. Just because their friends are women, then they say, we have supported these women. It's their friends. The money will go back to them. That's the, that's the problem with politicians. So, be, 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 af, be afraid. You must also check advocating McKenz saying hey, they are sporting talent. You must look at where they are going. You understand? Know it must not be in certain areas where they are seeing talents, but they are not nationwide. You are not a minister of certain area. You are a minister of the country. So, equally so, we are expecting you to go to Rustenbeck. See talents there. You uh, are expecting you to come up with talents in Deep Limpompo. We are expecting you to come up with talents in Deep Venda. Expecting to go to Deep KZN. If you are that serious about developing sport, do not make it look like when you are this guy that is going to come and change this. I'm, I'm really not in support of this. We are going to take the money and use it where it is needed. Where is it needed? We are going to support. There are many artists that are, 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 are need money. Yeah, guys, you mean to tell me 1.3 million? Uh, is that much of a big deal that you can stop this? Ah, uh, 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 guys, no, 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 I don't agree to this. This one, I don't agree to this one. Uh, guys, there are many trillions there. Many trillions. Gating McKenzie is going to be receiving soon by financial year and 
in fact, when he walked into that office, because there was February, was just a few months back before um, elections, there was already money allocated to sport. There's a lot of money. And even Mbalula okay, once said that people who win sports, uh, they get allocated, they get to be bought houses. And the next thing is going to say, we're going to stop that. Why? Because spinning is not receiving such recognition. So if spinning was recausing, or recausing, uh, look, uh, uh, was getting such recognitions, then he get, oh, come on, guys, come on. No, 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 no. I don't agree to this. I, I, I don't agree to this. Let me get it, my I call. Uh, uh. E, look, I'm reading an article from, e, I'm reading an article from e, e, IOL. They say, good publicity, but look, good PR stance, he says, Clearly, clearly, focus on the athlete is a good thing, but but it may divide many as the super fans were seen as good public relations for South Africa, as they were normally seen on every rugby uh, cup for the Springbok last year. Chawoka was also seen uh, prominently at the Africa Cup of Nations last year in the Ivory Coast, where Bafana Bafana went on to uh, surpass expectations to finish third. It has been less than 24 hours since Mackenzie has been in the headlines as he vowed to get the Springbok Games back to SAPC on SAPC on Sunday. Mackenzie, he was still on the on the path of a Vict uh, Pamlet as they uh, continue to marathon training. Um, I don't agree with the okay, Gaten Mackenzie, guys. Um, I really don't agree with okay, Gaten Mackenzie. Uh, I'm I'm not like maybe I'm a I'm a fan of also these people, but I'm judging them by the contribution that they are making in society. Guys, 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 guys. We have one. When you hear people saying we wanna save taxpayers money, we wanna do. You must just ask them a question. If you save it from this, where are you gonna spend it? Right. Save it. I get it's taxpayers money, and when they say taxpayers money, they include you. But when they misuse the money, you are no longer included. Their friends are included. They are the beneficiaries, tax beneficiaries. You must, you must not be paid by politicians who are using fancy English and good terminologies to twist your mind. If Gated McKenzie wants to develop a sports in South Africa, it's fine. Um, you know, one of the things that I'm against, big time, and it's not justifiable, and I know a lot of you will come, to, will come for me for this one, but uh, let me tell you this. There's this thing of saying, yeah, uh, e football, uh, women's football must receive the same money that the the look, the Bafana Bafana team is receiving. And I said, okay. I said to somebody, let's go. I get what you are saying. Hey, you are very enthusiastic about it because media told you that. But there's one thing that media didn't tell you is that how much uh, how much Bafana mates, how much is Bafana making? You know, when you when when we plan those things, right? There are investment that goes into these things. There are companies that are investing in the Vavana Fauna game. Now, this is what I've seen. Uh, you must go and test this, right? Prove me wrong here. When there's a game where, in, look, exclude Chips, Pirates, Sandals, Captain City, there's just Chipper United playing against Richard Spay. Yeah, teams in the PSL that does not have many people following them. And then there's a game of Banyana Banyana playing concurrently. Look at the stadium. You are most like people generally. You don't even have to ask a lot of people. Generally, people are most likely to go to the game of Chipper United because it attracts people generally. So, how do you then justify that these two must get equal payment when this one attracts less money? You must understand how money is made in this because there's this call, there's this thing called the economy of football. The economy of football is when companies come and in local comes in to advertise. How many companies are investing in female football so much so that it can they can get paid the same money as the, look as e, 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 look as e, 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 look the team the the the, the, fem, the male sport? You must look at it from that perspective. I am saying proportionally, people must get paid as per the contribution they make and the impact they make. Banyana Banyana and all these teams does not have the same impact that they have this side. You can't come to me and argue that, okay, they are earning more money, um, and in fact, they are winning more. Yes. But in terms of the economy of football, how much impact does they make? So what you are saying, what you end up seeing in these things, you end up seeing the, 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 the you do know that when, when Bafana Bafana, uh, if Bafana Bafana plays, for instance, to the quarterfinal, 
and they get knocked out in the quarterfinal. And Banyanda Banyana wins that tournament. Same tournament. Let's say they are involved in an African Africa Cup of Nations tournament. I'll make an example. Uh, by Bafana Bafana get knocked out in the in the quarterfinal. Banyanda Banyana wins the cup. Because of the economy of football, the investment into this, companies that are willing to invest in this too, they, you'll find that this one get knocked out in the quarterfinal, but they make three times the money that this one make. And then you come and argue that they must get paid equally. How when the proportional, in when the, the investment is just way... Hey, people, when you understand the investment into this thing, you will realize what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to tell you is that they, if you want them to get paid the same, also go and convince investors to invest equally to these two things. Then the outcome is different. You'll notice the advertisement and everybody that, look, when you look at the game of and the game of Bafana, you will notice that, no, man, these two people, there's no equal investment. They don't bring the equal amount of money. So why are you expecting them to earn the same money? Because both of them, they are playing football, but they don't attract people the same. They don't attract investment the same. Even in generally so, people who ordinarily watch female games or, or over male games, you understand? Even with less promotion, look on cheaper United and versus Richard Spay game, people are most likely to watch this Richard Spay over the, the female games, right? So why do you then expect equality when there's already inequality in terms of investment? You don't want to work on the investment. I'm talking about things like that where people preach equality and they don't look at the, the, look at the economic aspect of those things, right? How much, will the, how much does spinning bring as an economy? It brings excitement, yes. Uh, you, you buy tickets. I've been there, I know. But it's not a sport that, honestly, it's not a sport that I can sit there and be like, I'm going to buy a season ticket. But if you talk about football, for instance, I'm most likely to buy a season ticket for that, right? It's a fact. Um, if I plan properly, the game that the 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 the, 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 the games that are gonna be in free state, I'm most likely to go to free state for a game. Yeah, Kaza Chiefs versus Young Africa in that Toyota Cup. But tell me that there's a spinning in Deben. I'm not the most likely to go to Deben watch a spinning car. Guys, come on. I mean, when we look at this, we must just look at the economical aspect of things. How much does how much value does it bring? Right for us to put it on an equal scale, how much value does it bring? Does uh, a spinning car event brings um, the same value uh, generally? I know it makes a lot of money. Look, to certain in its scale, it makes a lot of money in its scale. But if you wanna compare it in a game, you take, use an example of Cape Town City versus uh, versus Mamelo Sundowns. That game alone. Uh, we'll talk about tickets then. Even if you were to build stadium for spinning cars, but I can guarantee you, you will, it will never bring the same man. So, Abokate and McKenzie, then when they push equality of things, you must then look at the economical aspect of it. How much money does it make? I, I'm not saying it should not be promoted, but I'm saying when, as you promote it, as you preach the concept of equality, you must also look at the economical aspect of things and be like, okay, does it brings the same economy as this one? So that's a mistake that I'm seeing. Okay, Tim McKenzie is moving towards where there's this uh, fixation upon equality and and I don't know. I'm, like, please, guys, don't don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. If you love female sport, fine, fair, you love it, it's fine. But be honest enough. Go and study the economy of these things versus this one. You can't come here and blackmail us. Hi. Why are not companies not in, no, no, not investing? Ah, Pilar, we are not companies. Don't ask me. Don't ask me that question. Go and ask companies that question. Tell me why are they not investing in it? Tell me why rugby players pay, get paid more than soccer players. Guys, it's just people must understand this economy, the economy of these things. Tell me, do you know that Ukoz FM makes less money than Ukoz FM is the number number two radio station in the world? Right. Listen to this one. Number one in South Africa, number two in the world, number one in Africa. But listen to this one. Uh, 702, if not uh, 94.7, has got very, barely few numbers. I think it's one point something million. While because FM is eight point something million. But 
the revenue made by Ukozi FM is less than the revenue made by these ones. Why? Go inside of the economy they're on. It has been said that when people advertise on 702, they pay more. The same advert, if they pay more on 702 over Ukozi FM, go and study the economy of radio. Well, then you come and preach equality, but do you understand the economy of this thing? Before you preach equality, oh, there must be equality. What is the economy of this thing? People don't, don't ask those real questions, right? The economy of football, the economy of, uh, of rugby, the economy of rugby, it has been said that it's one of the highest paying sports, but it's got the right advertisement. You can't compare it to football. The economy of rugby is different than the economy of football. The quality of adverts there is different. That's why they get paid more than this one. You know what I'm saying? You can't come and argue. They must get paid equally because they are all playing. No. The economy they're on is different, guys. It's different.